Hi, I'm Kristen. And I'm Stephanie. And we're here today from SixSisterStuff.com and we are making our no-bake cheesecake. Um, this is one of my favorite desserts because it is so easy to make. So, this is what we're going to do first. We're going to take some cream cheese, about 8 ounces of cream cheese. And I usually get fat-free cream cheese, but on this recipe you want just normal cream cheese or else you'll get a little some chunkies in there. Okay, then we have some sweetened condensed milk. You want to pour that in? Nice. I love sweetened condensed milk. I love these rubber <laughs> spatulas. Make my life a lot easier. Nice. Nice. Okay. And then next we just have just an 8-ounce container of Cool Whip. And I did buy light of this kind. It doesn't matter if you use light or regular. There you go. Okay, get this in there too. Shove it all in. And then our very last thing is about a fourth cup of lemon juice. And I didn't use a fourth cup because I don't like the lemon taste as much, but just a little bit in there is perfect. Okay, and she's going to mix this a little bit. The trick to this recipe is, is to make sure your cream cheese is completely softened, completely room temperature. It's not going to um, turn bad or anything, but just as soon as it's room temperature, that's when you start making your cheesecake. Because then you won't have the little lumpies in exactly. it. Exactly. You want to try a whisk? Yeah. Okay. Get it a little better in here. Nice. Nice. And you can also use the ham beaters too. That would probably be faster, but for this one we're going to see her muscles and see how fast she can whisk. <laughs> nice. It's looking good. So, you'll, you'll whisk about a minute to two minutes, and when you're all done whisking, you're just going to pour it right in to just a normal graham cracker crust um, pie tin. You ready to pour? Let's do it. There you, there you go. Grab your whisk. You ready? Now, you don't want to use all the filling because if you did, it will overflow a little bit. So we're just going to use just until it reaches the top of the pie crust. Okay, when you're all done, you're just going to put your lid back on and stick it in the fridge for about an hour, and then it is all ready to go. Um, you can also top it with... Exactly. My favorite topping is a blueberry pie filling. It's one of my favorites. You can also use cherry I or... Liked, they have a mixed berry one. That Ooh, one's my favorite. That one would be good. Kate, well, thank you so much for joining us today at Six Sister Stuff. Um, if you would like to check out any more of our recipes, you can find us at sixsisterstuff.com. <laughs>